Hey guys, my name is Christian Taylor. Welcome back to Crailer Made, where I like to talk about all things branding, marketing, and entrepreneurship. Today, I'll be showing you how to create your website with Wix.com. Wix reached out to me and asked to sponsor some videos, and I was ecstatic. Wix is actually the very first website builder I used when I was young, and it's what got me interested in web design. I definitely wouldn't be where I am today without Wix, and I think it's a great platform to build your website. And if there's one thing I love about Wix.com, it's that it's quick. You can get your website up and running very quickly, not spend a bunch of time on it, and it's still gonna look awesome. So to create your website, first head over to Wix.com and click the Get Started button. Create your account, and as you walk through the setup process, Wix is gonna ask you some questions to learn more about you and your brand. Then it's gonna be able to suggest some templates that would work awesome for your brand and for the purpose of your website. Whether it's a blog or a personal portfolio or a corporate website, Wix has templates for everyone. Now you could start from scratch, but for the sake of this video, we're gonna pick a template because I found one that I really like and I think it represents me well. And it's a quicker process to pick from a template that you already like and modify that and use that to build out your website. So let's hop over to the Wix editor and we're going to get started started. So here I am at the Wix editor and I've already picked out a theme that I like during the setup process. I did also get the one year plan with Wix, which means that they've included a free domain name for the first year. And as you can see, Wix has already set up the domain name. I don't have to think about connecting it or DNS or anything like that. I'm good to go at crailermedia.com. So I'm going to go to site actions and do edit site and it's gonna load up the base template. So when I build a website, I like to go from the top down and I like to kind of vision the website starting with the header. So I want this to represent my brand well. And I think the first thing I'm gonna do is take out this text in the template and add my logo. So I'm just going to click this and delete it and click this and hit the delete key. Now, most of you are probably gonna have a logo for your business or brand, and it's very easy to just drop that in on the header. We just go to add right here and go to image, and I'm gonna to go to my image uploads. Okay, and then I'm gonna select it and say add to page. And here it is on the page. We're just going to drag this over to the header and we're going to size it down. That's looking pretty good. So we have the Crayler Media logo to start. Next, what I wanna do is tackle this side of the menu and kind of build out my vision for the pages I want on this website. So I don't need this login bar. Um, if you are primarily a blog and you want users to be able to log in and get notifications for blog posts and stuff, that is helpful, but I'm just going to delete this. Now I'm gonna double click this and rename some of my pages. So I'd like to have a home page, a page that says my skills, blog and contact. I like that, I feel pretty good about how that turned out. Now it does have this more button and that means that there's too many pages for the menu to fit. So I'm just going to widen the menu here and then we see that all the pages fit. And then I'm going to finish out with this social bar. Really love that Wix has the social icons right at the top, that's convenient. I'm gonna go ahead and remove LinkedIn because I don't use LinkedIn. And then all we have to do is go through each one of these and add the appropriate URL. Perfect, so we got our social bar all ready to go. Now we're gonna to start to tackle the front page of the website. So first I'm gonna start with this image. I'd like to get a picture of me, so I'm just gonna do change column background, click image. Okay, I'm just gonna say change background. Now I'm cut off at the top of this image and what we can do to fix that is click this little settings button right here and say that the image is positioned starting from the top of the image down and then that'll cut off the bottom of the image but that's perfectly fine. I'm liking how this is framed. So we're just gonna tackle this text section right here and let me get my text that I would like to go here. Just copy this. Okay, and we can do a little bit of styling to make it a little fancier. Maybe I'll make this bold, italicized. I'm going to choose 
a highlight color that represents my brand. I like a nice uh, neon green color that tends to work well for my branding. And the nice thing is that Wix will save this accent color so we can just easily go back to it for future elements. So great, I think that this section here looks awesome, definitely represents me well, and it's definitely my style. So I'm going to scroll down on the template here, and I have some text for this too. So like I said earlier, all we have to do is click this yellow box if we want it to become our accent color. You can play around with different styles of boxes. I kind of like this one here. And I can just say customize design, fill color and opacity. And there's that neon green we created earlier. And then we'll go to the shadow and we're gonna change the color to also be that neon green. Now I've got some text that I'm going to put here as well. I'm going to say, this is Crayler Media. Now here's one thing that I really like about Wix. You can actually use completely custom fonts. And that's not something that's normally easy with website builders, but Wix makes it very simple. You may recognize the whole Crayler Media font I usually use, and that's a custom font. But I actually can use it right on the website by just clicking Upload Fonts. I've actually already uploaded it, but you can just upload any font file that's one of these formats right here. So I can just go up to my fonts, and that's literally it. Like this is the Crayler Media font here, as you can see. It is my custom font that I use for my branding, and I'm able to implement it right on the web page, which I think is really cool. It's not normally that easy to do that with website builders. All right, I'm gonna speed up the build out of these next couple sections here, and then we will talk about the blog section. So now here's where we get to something interesting. If you come across a section that you don't really want in the template, it's no problem. You can just click where it says strip here and just hit the delete key, and it's going to take that section out. So I don't really want that section, I don't really want this section either. Now, here's where when I was building out my site, I started to wonder, how do I get rid of this white space? And first of all, I have to give a huge shout out to Wix customer support. I reached out to them to ask how to do it because I wasn't totally sure. And I'll show you in a minute, but they replied instantly. They gave me a phone call. I thought I would be connected to a robot, but a real human picked up instantly. I just explained what I was having some trouble with and they showed me exactly how to do what I wanted to do. So I was really blown away by the Wix customer support. And I would definitely recommend reaching out to them if you have any questions as you build your website out. So in this particular case, we have this white space to deal with. And what we need to do is get this next strip here that is right above the header and just drag this up to be snapped in below the last strip. Now we do have this white space down here by the footer but what we need to do for that is just click this adjust page height by the footer and just shrink it until it's where we want it to be, which is right here. And as you can see, we've already got a blog section implemented as part of the template here. So we do have a dedicated blog page that we can go over, but the blog function is pretty straightforward. It is easy to create posts. Uh, I'm just going to double click blog right here and get us over to that page. And really the only thing I need to do here is just change this color to match our theme. And these are all example posts, um, so we can actually change this by clicking Manage Posts. We're not gonna cover blog posts in detail today in this tutorial, but this is a very intuitive manager to use for blog posts. So I'm gonna close that. And now that we've tackled home, we've got my skills.
Now the My Skills page is very similar to Home in this template. It's something where you can add sections, remove sections, kind of build it out to fit your portfolio. So I will definitely work on that later. And then we've got the contact page right here. Now what I love about the contact page is it's basically already set up. We've got some text here that I'm going to edit so it is relevant to my information. And our contact form is already set up. Wix is just gonna pull the email that we use to create the account for email notifications. So I don't have to do anything to hook this contact form up. It's already ready to go where as soon as someone fills it out and submits it, it's going to send you an email and you're all set up. The last thing I'm gonna do here is change this footer and just put my brand. Once you're happy with your site and you're ready to go live, you can just click this blue publish button in the top right corner. And that's it. Our site is live. And since we did go with that one year package, we got to choose our domain name for free. So everything is already set up on the domain name. We don't have to do any DNS work or anything like that. I can just click view site and boom. This is a great looking site and it took me less than 30 minutes to build. I was honestly surprised at how quickly I was able to throw this together and it fits my brand so well. The colors, the fonts, just the overall look and feel. I knew when I saw this theme that I had a winner right from the start. You can also see it's fast, it's snappy, and I didn't have to do anything as far as SSL or DNS or any of that. This is ready to go for people to visit. So if you're ready to build your website, click the link in the description below to get started. And I think you're gonna be surprised at how quickly you can put together a great looking website for your brand. Thanks again to Wix for sponsoring this video. And if you have any questions about the tutorial, just drop a comment down below. If you like this video, do be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss when I release new videos. With that said, I will catch you guys next time.